How you doing? I'm very much fine. Oh, well, thank you really so much. Nice to have you on my show. Well, it doesn't first my name, and I just wanna tell you something about one question that we always have on our mind, which is, what can we do to improve our English? How can I speak fluent English like native? I'm not native. I'm Pakistanian. I'm Indian. I'm Arab. I don't know nothing about the English, and especially when I do try to speak English in my class, school, or wherever, people laugh at me because they say my pronunciation is not good. When I speak, they don't understand me. I don't know what exactly should I do to improve my English. This is normally the question, and this is normally the fear that many people have in Pakistan. But don't worry, the solution is very easy. We don't have to be speaking English like a native, like an expert, or like a scholar. English is just an easy language, just like any other language. Like we speak Punjabi, we speak Urdu, we speak any other language for that matter. But we don't really become that much serious learning a language. Then why become so much serious in learning English? You don't have to worry. Because now we will have the answer to that question. And we will try our best to kill this weakness, this fear that we have, so that we really become able to speak the language without fear. So then, when it comes to learning a language, what should we do? I tell you one, one thing, something very simple in here. When it was about learning A, B, C, what we did? We went to school, we bought a book, and a book of alphabets, and then we started reading a, B, C, D, everything. And then what we did, not only we started learning it, but also writing it. We did both the jobs, learning and writing together, making our job easier. And this way, we also developed ourselves on listening, listening to our teachers, speakers, different TV presenters, RJs, radio jockeys, and also to so many different speakers across the globe who are wonderful at the language. But the question arises, did we also do the speaking? Hmm? If no, then it means that's the only thing that we're missing the most today. So we got to develop now on speaking. But speaking never comes without listening, because listening is the key to great speaking. And whatever we listen to, we must put that into practice, because that's the only way we can do a speaking. We can examine ourselves that how beautifully that we have developed on the message, on the language. So we need to put that into practice. What do we need to do? Try to speak as much as possible and listen to somebody or something that you like the most. Don't worry, it's a language. It's not a degree, it's not a certificate, it's not a specialization. It is just about speaking a language. So for learning a language, we literally have to Put that into practice. Don't worry about making a mistake. Worry about correcting a mistake. And you are not going to basically be the superhero of the language itself. You just have to kill the fear that you have with it. Because when we speak, we have fear here. We have the fear in the heart. Or normally, we have a fear speaking in the public, thinking that if I say something wrong or maybe I use the wrong grammar for that matter, 
or maybe I don't make a you know a right sentence construction, people people will be laughing at me. People will definitely make fun of me, telling me that your English is strong. So what? Making a mistake on a language is very, very normal. And it's very much normal with everybody. So is with you. So then what's your problem? With this fear, you're never going to grow on the language itself. So you got to kill the fear that you have. So you are the master of your own heart. You're the master of your own brain. You've got to develop all the language no matter what. So you have to do the listening. Listen to somebody that you like the most. Or you can even listen to somebody behind me, AJ Hook. He is a very good teacher on teaching the language. And for that, you have to have a great motivation. You have to have a love for the language and you have to have a heart for the language. Choose the type that you like. And let's not forget, the language that we speak is meant for communicating with the people. It's not meant for damaging people. It's not meant for breaking people apart. It is rather meant for bringing people closer. Any language that we speak is meant for bringing the communities, nations and tribes closer. And in the same way, English as a language has become an international language. So we have to use the language in the right direction where we can bring people and communities closer. It works as a bridge between the people. So we don't have to worry about making a mistake. Let's make the mistakes because mistakes would finally make you a competent person on the language itself. You don't need to worry. You just need to take a start. And we don't use the language for impressing people, depressing people, or looking down upon them, but rather we use the language for sending our message to the people, for bringing them closer. So if you develop on the language well, you will definitely be able to do the communication with anybody, be that inside the country or outside the country. So I want you to take a step forward and try to understand the importance of the language. You just need to give a try. Give a try and see what exactly you can do. And I'm sure that you have lots hidden in you that turns out to be a great wonder for the people they don't know about you. So I want you to listen to my message carefully and put this into practice and then see what exactly you can really do for yourself. Until next time, I just want you to refer to our Image Academy, very much located in Lahore, which is the heart of Pakistan. And you can also reach us at the following number 0345-478-1744. Here we go once again. 0345-478-1744. Until then, bye-bye.